it is very important that you understand how cron jobs work in linux and let me just clear this let me just clear this and get started here so i just opened up my terminal i'm using terminator here that's why i'm able to split it into, into different sections and what i would like to do here so is is just cut cut is a linux command to show the contents of a file and then i'll do etc and then i'll do cron tab let me have to increase this for you to see so i'm cutting etc and cron tab and when you see this i want to explain all this is to so that you may understand um here what we have this is how a cron a cron job is organized uh, uh, ideally there are five asterisks and each asterisk rep represents something in a cron job and there is a reference here that you can come to every time you need to remember what this is and uh, you just do what you did here in any linux uh, instance and you get this so that is cut etc cron tab and here the first asterisk to the far left is the minute asterisk and the values that you can put there run from 0 to 59 and then the second asterisk is the hour and then the third one is the day of the month the fourth is the month itself and the fifth is the day of the week so the day of the week can run from 0 to 6 where 0 is sunday and then this is the format of the the, the cron jobs i'm going to be showing you as we create our own so you give it the value so for instance this first the first if you put something on the first one uh since this is the minute or if you put here like 10 that means the cron job that you'll be defining will, will run every 10th minute of every hour if you leave it as all asterisks it means this one will be running at every minute since this is the minute so if you leave it as an asterisk you do, you have just defined a cron job that will run every single minute so let us go ahead and uh, do our own cron job so if you want to see all the crons that are running you do cron tab cron tab and then l l is just for list cron tab sorry this is cron tab cron tab and then l and here you see the list of all the crons that are running these are commands if you see anything with an asterisk at the end this these are comments if you see anything with an asterisk at the at the beginning that is that is commented out so everything from the first line all the way to that one all those are comments the only cron we have here is this one and this one i have just def i was defining it uh, to test uh, for the purposes of this tutorial and what we have here is a cron that runs every single minute and uh, looking at this this is the the format of defining a cron let me clear this so that you are able to see this well so here uh the format is the 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 you you give the asterisks or the the durations when you need the the cron to run for my case here i've left all as asterisks that means it will run every single minute and then here we have bin and sh and then you give a space there and then you go to the directory where you want to define your cron so here i'm going to be showing you how to run a cron that will execute into a different file okay so uh here you can you can simply put your command here directly or you can do what i am about to do here this is is better because it gives you it gives you more freedom to be able to write to execute things like python scripts and stuff like that which can do can do quite a lot so here i want to run a script that is on home karani desktop and the file i want to create is karani.sh okay so this is my cron it is done so the next thing i'm going to do clear i want to go into my desktop so i'll go to home and then i'll go to karani karani and then i'll go to desktop and i'll look for let me just uh let me just sorry let me list that directory so you see here we have two things we have one file folder called galarite this folder contains a lot of my stuff and then you have this file karani.sh so i had also created this and if we nano into the full that full that file karani.sh you see it's in write up okay we are going to write it actually so let me exit if you see that giving you that uh, error just do a sudo here and you supply the password and now we can write that file okay 
So here I have two I have two crowns that I have done. This is uh this are simple. This are the two actions, sorry. So this file is going to be ran, remember, by our cron job, the cron job that I just uh, we, we just saw a few minutes uh, seconds ago. So touch touch is a command uh, Linux command for creating a new file. And you want to create a new file at home, Karani desktop, and then you want to call the file test cron dot uh, txt so let's run let, let's save our, our, our file and see whether that this is going to run and remember it is running every single minute okay so after you have saved this file the next thing that you are supposed to do for your cron to run remember my mine may run because it was running but if you have just created this file you need to do sudo uh, change mode to you give it the executable you will make it executable and then you do karani.sh are you okay you need to run this to make this particular file that you just created executable and you see here we have a file called test.cron so that has been created by our cron job we can remove it to see then before that let me just list again you see the file is not there let's go back here and we are expecting that when this time turns to uh, 1401 we're expecting to see a new file create here so let's wait and see just a few couple a couple more seconds i think so our cron is running every minute that is why it will be creating that file every single minute all right yeah it's two it's it's 1401 and our file has been created wonderful now how, how about we 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 change our cron job a little bit so that it, it deletes this file at maybe around 1404 or 1403 so we go back here we pull out our cron sorry that's not the command it's nano and then here we can comment this and then we enable that and we want to delete um, cron dot is it cron or test cron i think it's test cron sorry let's just get the name of the file this is the file we need to delete so we can copy this name and take it here and paste it so we want to delete that file and we don't need to to do recursive force recursive force is for a folder so it's remove then that okay then we are going to go ahead and save that and we are expecting that the next minute when the next minute runs so when this turns to three we are expecting to see this file go away so let's wait and see whether that works give it a couple more seconds okay must be almost there now so by the 1403 we expect that our test cron.txt file will be deleted by our cron job about time yeah it's 1403 and yes our file has been deleted by our cron job so yes that is how you define cron jobs in linux and see you in the next uh video